Hello again. Um, I was asked by a viewer to go over a schematic for um, Honda Odyssey for a fuel pump problem. I believe the, the name was Nader, if I'm pronouncing it uh, correct. Anyway, this is for a Honda uh, EX LX 2008. Came up with the schematic fuel pump. One of the most difficult schematics to analyze. You remember one time I made a video about um, Toyota, Toyota Camry? Well, it falls in the same category. Sometimes three or four relays until you get the pump. Here's the pump, here's the pump, the fuel pump, here's the relays that control for a Toyota Camry. Well, guess what? Same idea, same sequence for Honda. They're interchangeable. Same thing for CRV and all that, which are popular today. Now, you would not know which is the main relay. When you look at the cover, the fuse, fuse panel, you wouldn't know which one is the main one for the fuel pump, to run the fuel pump. Because look, one, two, three. Three are involved. One being for ignition coil. So, where to start and where to finish? So, actually there's about four pages, but I concised it into three pages. The ultimate goal is to get to this guy, right here. Fuel pump. Okay? With the ground over here, G803. So, the purple one over here is over here. Now, there's a computer involved. As you expected. A PCM involved giving grounds uh, activating the the relays so where to start difficult to say the least so I started when I first I looked at this I started over here and I said okay we're gonna start over here and this one you start from how do all times the fuse at 12 volts you have current going through this way we know in order for this to be activated, we need this to be activated by current. So we have current flowing, current flowing here, here, here. And where does this go to? If you follow the blue, if you follow the blue, goes to main relay on the PCM, giving this a ground. So in other words, we have 12 volts from the battery and we have a ground ground PCM okay fine current will flow to the PCM that will activate this switch fine this switch will close and then it will activate guess what the ignition coils okay fine our problem is the fuel pressure the fuel pump now so let's go to the next one we come over here can we come over here we go to this side of the coil. Where is this coming from? So, if you look at this other part where it's connected to, it's coming from this fuse. Follow the green now. Through this fuse, 8 or 15 amps. Through here, as she goes through another page or another line, but I concised it to tell you here, it's going through this one. See, 12 volts fuse that I just showed you coming through here giving us 12 volts. If this is 12 volts over here, what's at the other side? After the current flows here, we need a ground. Guess where we get the ground from? Right here, the ground, the same ground from the PCM that we got for this one. So they both share the same ground. Who would have thunk, all right? So again, 12 volts here, closes this, goes to the ignition coils to give spark. And from the fuse itself, current flows here, here, and back to the same ground as the PCM that's used for the ignition coil. So both of them share, as you see over here, they both share this ground. Hard to, to photograph, but that's how it is. Okay, but still, that doesn't answer our question. How do we get to the fuel pump that I just showed you in this one? We, we activated this one by giving this a ground. That means the switch is closed, right? We have a path to go here 
And also we have a path to go here, and we have a path to go here. Which path do we take? We try all of them. We take this path, the orange, follow the orange. The switch is closed, going in pin one, current flows, comes out pin two. Now, comes out here, here, follow the orange, comes out over here, goes into pin four, the current. How much do we have here? 12. How much do we have here? 12. How much do we have here? 12. Why do we have 12, 12, 12? We have 12 over here from the fuse. 12 going to the switch. Coming out the switch, you have 12. Why? You don't lose any voltage through a switch. And you have 12 volts over here. If I have 12 volts over here, what am I going to have over here then? So before I even look at the other side where this is connected to, by basic electronics, if I have 12 volts over here, I expect to see a ground here. Might be a physical ground, might be a computer ground. But if I have 12 volts over here, when I follow this orange line, it should somehow lead me to some ground. Let's follow the orange line. Here's the orange line. Again, went through another page. I concised it. Here's the orange line. Follow the orange line. And IMO fuel pump relay again it goes to the pcm so the pcm gave us already two grounds right does that make sense yes it doesn't make sense because we had 12 volts here and we have a ground here 12 volts over here a ground shared shared by this relay and shared by this relay okay so we have two grounds shared going to the pcm and another ground, an individual ground, to the PCM. What happens after that? Well, this is closed. Once this is activated, you have current flowing here to the ground of the PCM. Then this closes. So one, pin one is connected to pin two. What happens? Guess where this is going, the blue, or the purple. Follow the purple. Purple. Purple comes over here to the fuel pump. So, all that wasn't in vain. The orange line, the fuel activates this. This is the fuel pump. This is the one that goes to the CFP. This goes to the fuel pump. Now remember, the other line over here also goes to another one to activate this. Another relay. But we're not concerned about that. We're concerned about the relay, that the one that's closest to the fuel pump, which is this one called PGM uh, F1, FI, I guess. Main relay 2. This was 1. This is relay 2. So, fuse 4 is up here. 15 amps. Pin 1 and pin 2. This goes to the fuel pump. So, it took 3, actually 3 relays that we're working with, but 2 if Two have to work. Without the schematic, I would abs have absolutely no idea which relays are doing what. That's why you have to have the, the schematic. As I always tell my co-workers, it takes 10, 15 minutes to look at the schematic to evaluate it correctly. Without this current flowing to the ignition coil, I can still have, I can still have right here. Here's current, current coming from here 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 without this relay on whatever i still can have current flowing back to the pcm remember comes from the fuse on the green goes into the coil comes out the coil follow the blue and goes to the pcm ground i don't really need this i need this and i need this so therefore if i'm going to jump one let's say the fuel pump is not is not activated right which one am I gonna which one am I gonna go and jump? And number two, which part of the relay do I jump that I've been always um, discussing with you? Do I jump this part of the relay? Do I jump this part? Never jump this part. This is the coil part. You jump this part, you, you you're making a short the ground. Jump the contact the switch. All it is is a switch. You see the jumper in green that I put around it? See, jumper? That means this is the one that you jump. This is the one that goes to the fuel pump. This is the last place before the fuel pump. 
this is the one you jump. When you jump this, this, this tells you this works because this activated this one. And it tells you that the ground is good of the computer. Because how was this activated? Through a ground. Let me repeat it. But the fact that when I jump this and I and and and, and, and this works, makes the pump work, means that this is controlling this. That means this is good. This ground is controlling this. From that means the ground of the computer is good. So ground computer controls this. This then controls this. This then controls fuel pump. All you do is jump this. I know this is good. I know this is good. I know the ground is good from the computer. Right? I don't know about the ignition call, but that's not my problem right now. I want to worry about one thing at a time, right? So that's why I say jump this. If this doesn't work when you jump this, then you have to go back 12 volts here, 12 volts here, 12 volts here. Maybe you have a computer problem with the ground. But anyway... Same thing for Toyotas, for Hondas, for Odysseys, and all these CRVs. Same concept. Same, but this is difficult. One of the most difficult ones I've seen. Again, a computer is always involved. We always have a computer involved, a PCM. Look, a PCM. Always involved. See? This is not 25 years ago that people think. Right? This is now. So anyway that that takes care of that okay i hope that it helps the, the viewer so remember you have at least two relays jump relay number two look for pins one and two or the take out the relay look for the terminal turn over the uh what do you call it, the relay and look for the points you have four points okay look for points one and two jump them see if it comes on if not we'll worry about it later okay and I will worry about voltage, voltage for voltage. Could be the PCM. Doesn't give you a ground also. Again, tool of the day. Here's another one that I saw. I was talking about tools the whole day I discussed, right? Here's another one for the rear lights. Again, if you want to take out the rear lights, it's hard to get into a, a, a specific uh, space. This is the best one. You turn it. It's curved, 90 degrees. Also a good tool. Anyway, I hope this helped. Again, please, a, th a thousand subscribers that I, if every subscriber would watch 15 20 minutes a week that's all i ask for it would help me tremendously in getting monetized this alone took me over four hours to do alone over four hours so it's it's a lot of preparing it's a lot of preparing but anyway i hope it'll I hope at the end it'll turn out and it'll help like i said my goal in life is to have a, uh, a live chat where people ask me about electronic problems on their cars, autos, and I can uh, discuss the how to what to, uh, you know how how to go about it, what to change. But like I said, I'm a long way off from that. I'm not I'm not even monetized yet, so it takes a long time. But anyway, let's see what happens. Thanks.